Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalms 1, verse 2, and it reads, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night, I repeat. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Now, I want to divide this scripture into two parts. And the first part says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Now, the key word here is delight. When we say delight, we, we speak about being greatly pleased. We, we speak about great pleasure. Sometimes when you meet somebody and you um, partake in some sort of um, discussion or you partake in, a, in an activity and and they go like it was a great pleasure meeting you so so also delight is a great pleasure in the law of the lord when we jubilate in the law of the lord we are enthusiastic in the law of the lord we have this euphoric, euphoric feeling when we engage in the practicality of the law of the lord when we begin to do the things that please god that is his law and the law primarily here speaks about the ten commandments amongst um them is thou shalt not serve any other god before me thou shalt not make any graven image both on earth and in heaven and beneath the sea thou shalt honor your father and your mother thou shalt not steal thou shalt not kill thou shalt not be a false witness against your neighbor thou shalt not commit adultery so among all these laws are uh, among uh, um, the laws are these that i just mentioned so having delight in the law of the lord is paramount then the another law which the bible speaks about is when we go to the book of 20 book of deuteronomy verse 28 it speaks explicitly about the precepts and the statutes of god about the things the do's and don'ts of God gave to the Israelites at that time and which also translates and relates to our everyday life and everyday walk with him and which ultimately is not pleasing to God. So he said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. So when we delight in these laws, the laws be it in, in the book of Exodus, be in the book of Leviticus, the book of Deuteronomy or the laws which Christ brought, when we delight in them, God is pleased. God refers us to as godly rather than ungodly. God refers us to as righteous rather than sinners. God refers us to as good people rather than the scornful and contemptuous people. And the, in the second bit it says, and in his law he meditates days and night, day and night. Now this is one righteous man. This is one my righteous man God speaks about. He meditates day and night now the key word here is meditation the the dictionary meaning of meditation is focusing one's mind on a period of time in silence with the aid of chanting of um of exercising religious or spiritual purposes now meditation in a nutshell is deep thinking when we think deeper about something when we meditate meditate about the law of the lord we're able to have more revelations about it which ultimately helps us in our walk with God our everyday lives our everyday interaction with air with human beings when we meditate on the law of the Lord we we broaden our horizon in the things of God we get to know God more we get to understand God more we're able to be matured from babyhood to teenagehood from teenagehood to adult from adult to full grown adulthood in the word so when we meditate on the laws day and night we follow after the precepts and the statutes of god day in day out we're able to understand god the more we're able to know who god is we're able to um understand his ways and we're able to follow out of his ways and when this with these things become 
a practical thing in our everyday existence. We're able to overcome challenges easily sometimes. We go about things. We don't even know, need to pray about situations because we believe and we know that the revelations in our system helps us overcome already. That the revelations in our spirit man help us overcome because the person Jesus said that the words that I speak, they are life and they are spirit. They, when they become a revelation, a spiritual revelation, we automatically walk within the physical without no glitch, without no hitch. And therefore, our meditation is paramount to understand the laws of God, to abide by the laws of God, to follow after the laws of God, and to be able to lead our lives in a godly fashion. Now, I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that we will be able to walk with him and run with him, that ultimate God gives us the grace to continue to follow after him, give us the grace to continue to delight in the laws of the Lord, give us the grace to continue to meditate on the laws of the Lord. All this I ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord, I thank you so much for listening and god bless god bless in jesus name amen amen